what is up everybody welcome back to the channel um this is going to be the last video of the semester before we go to winter break today we're going to be going around the uh, msc which if you don't know is the memorial student center and we're going to go to evans library and we're going to ask people how are they studying for finals what finals they have and giving and any advice they have to give to the high schoolers coming in next year um so everyone if you're watching this don't forget to subscribe give the video a thumbs up and comment what the best part of the video was i'll see you at the end so first off we're going to start off with your names your major where you're from and what class you're in. okay i'm um daniel mckenzie sophomore taking ecological restoration um and i'm that was it right sophomore where you're from where i'm from and i'm from uh, in noblesville indiana okay. emmy sanchez uh, studying electrical engineering. I'm also a sophomore. And I'm from San Antonio, Texas. Hello. Hey, we're here with. My name's Haley. Um, where are you from? Houston. And your major? Nursing. I'm Nina Martino. I'm a bio major. I'm class of 2025. And I'm from Fort Worth. All right. So today we're here with Carter and Zach. Uh, we're uh, we're both freshmen and, and uh, from South Houston. And I'm engineering. And I'm business. Business. I'm Caroline. I'm from Fire Mountain, Texas. I'm a biomedical sciences major and I'm a sophomore. I'm Amy and I'm from Austin, Texas and I'm a communications major and I'm class of 2025. Um, have you guys taken any finals so far? I've taken one online, yes. My first one's tomorrow morning. Okay, so how are you guys feeling about finals? I'm feeling pretty good. It's like a since last year with COVID, it was all just um, take it at your own pace and online. Um, there's actually a good amount of bleed over like that. So a lot more freedom on like when you take your final and online. So okay. it's been nice. I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, what's helped me a lot is starting studying earlier, like just chopping away at every subject I can as early as possible. Okay. How many finals do you guys have this year? Uh, I have five total. How many classes are you taking? Uh, 16 hours. Is that five classes? Do not know. Oh, how many phones do you have? Um, I have like, mm, like twelve. <laughs> hey yo, what the fuck? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, so um, how what's that thing? How many phones have you taken so far, and how many do you have left? I've taken three so far, and I have two left. Okay. I've taken five, and I have like, mm, I can't do math, so I think I have like three left because that five plus three should equal twelve. I think there's seven plus like three or something. Oh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> all right, so quickly, how many majors do each of y'all have? Stupid. You mean finals? Or, oh, yeah, finals. How many finals did you have? I, I only have two finals this week. I only have two this week, but I had two last week. Oh, so you have four finals. Okay, so how, how is that for you? How's that been for you? First one was super easy. It was like this flag football class, but then I had econ on Friday, which kind of kicked me in the butt. Oh, definitely the worst one. So what are the other two? The other one, I, tomorrow I have business, and then on Tuesday I have math. So. Math, which math? With match? Math, 140. 140? So out of, the, all, out of the four finals, which one's the hardest? Oh, econ. Econ, definitely? Yeah. All right, how about you? Yeah, so I already took my uh, engineering final, and uh, it, let's just say it didn't go, it didn't go so well. So. <laughs> so, uh, that, that, let's, uh below a 50. I got a 46 on that thing. Not so good. What did he say? Uh, let, I'm, I'm not very savvy with coding, so I got destroyed by that. And then I took my uh, my political science class or final and I got a, uh, an A on it. So I finished with an A in that class. Now I got math and chemistry on Tuesday. Oh, interesting. But nothing's going to be as hard as that engineering one. But... Okay. So the first question is today, uh, what are you studying for right now? Um, I'm studying for biology. Biology? Which biology uh, bio 111. 111. Okay. So, uh, how many finals do you have this year, and have you taken any so far? I've had three, and I had a woman's health um, that opened up like three weeks ago, so I did it like as soon as it. Opened. So you've taken three finals. I've taken one. one. I have two tomorrow. Okay. How are you feeling? How do you feel about that one you took? Is it good or? Oh, I'm pretty sure I pretty sure did well. <laughs> okay, okay. So you're a bio major, right? Yes. So do you take, you don't take chemistry, right? I do. So yeah. are, do you have a chem final? Or? Yes, I have both of them tomorrow. Are you in 119 or? 119. 119, okay. So um, how many finals do you have this year? Um, two. Two? Um, in what? Like which classes? Um, adult health and care of mental health patients. Um, which one do you anticipate to be the hardest? Yeah! Um, 
adult care mental health patients. So you haven't taken either of them, right? They're both. I've taken the adult health. Oh, okay. Last How was it? How was it? It was. Questions weren't what I thought they were going to be. Okay, so um, based on the professors you have, um, I just want to know, like, do you, depending on the major, depending on the class, do you think that different professors have different ways of doing their finals? Yes. So how could you like explain it further? Um, for my first final, they gave us like a focus sheet, so basically like, a study review. Um, however, the questions were like more in depth. However, for my other, for this mental health class, um, they also gave us a focus sheet, but it's more based off like the chapters rather than topics. And those I think are going to be not as in depth. The questions on the final won't be as in depth. All right. Like, okay. So, um, so uh, what do you, what would you say your your best final was, or like which final was the easiest that you took so far? Political science. Is that post? Which was two oh six. Two oh six. Okay. Why don't you? What would you say your easiest final was? Um, probably the cool math games final. Oh, that one. Is that actually a final or? Uh, yeah. Uh, who's your professor? If you don't mind me asking. Um, I mean, like the dog or whatever here. Oh, yeah. it shows up sometimes. Oh, okay. I think they teach you. Oh, okay. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> oh, um, so do you have like, since we're like doing this for like future high schoolers and stuff, like, mm -hmm. do you have any like teachers you would suggest to the high schoolers coming? Teachers? Yeah, like, you, you have to give a shout out to a teacher that's been really nice as well. Give it to Shout out Dr. Bethel. Okay, Dr. Bethel. Did you really good one. Him too? He was really good. Who would you shout out? Um, I don't know. I don't actually have real teachers. Oh, okay. Interesting. Stop the cap! <laughs> Stop the cap right now! Stop the cap! So, um, oh, okay. so are you guys studying right now? or? Yeah, oh. we've been here since 6 a.m. 6 a.m? Mm -hmm. So what are you, what subject we, we are you We slept studying? under this table. Oh, under the table? Uh-huh. Kind of looks comfy too. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, okay. So like, uh, what subject are you studying for right now? Organic chemistry. Is that, what chem is that? 227. And what are you studying for right now? Uh, I'm studying also for organic chemistry. Oh, okay. Now can, show us. Can you show us what you're studying? Yeah, yeah. Like, the, I think the people want to see how we're going to Yeah, okay, chemistry. so you're just, oh, hold on one second. Oh, okay, wait, okay, wait, give me your it should, it should be straight. Is that organic? No, no, no. Wait, what go, is that? Go, go over. Oh. Okay, no, I think this is it. Oh, okay. oh yeah, yeah. It might say communications, but it's actually a lot. Oh. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Oh, it actually means chemistry. Oh, yeah, communications is short for chemistry, right? There's actually yes. a lot more oh. communication. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. So, do you have like any advice for like high schoolers like for studying the finals? Um, I think like finding a schedule so you're not like studying for like four hours at a time and then sleeping for four hours. It's like more balanced if you like find some kind of rhythm of like study break and study break and also like if you have like three finals coming up, like kind of like plan out like I'm gonna study for this final, then this final, then this final, so you're not like cramming each one the last minute. Don't wait to review all the material like for like <laughs> like make sure you plan like studying walks out because like cramming everything into like one week of like reviewing isn't enough like it's definitely better to like go at a slower pace than to like rush so that you like everything retains but okay next semester about finals you got you got to get started early you can't be your finals on Tuesday you gotta start early because there's there's lots. Yeah, I've, I've, um, I kind of study like every week since the very beginning. Very beginning, a lot of people wait till the very end. Um, I know it sounds like pretty normal, like a normal advice, but it's definitely the biggest advice to start at the very beginning, even whenever it sounds like like you don't really have a test for a while. Start then, and then whenever it's whenever your final comes, you won't have to cram as hard. So. And then you'd be rocking a 4.0 like him. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, I have one last question. So I want you, each of y'all to give one professor shout out, either a good shout out or a bad shout out. Like you take this professor or don't take this professor. Ooh, okay. All right, good professor, professor Thank you. Good shout out, uh, Mr. Johnson, Business 101. Best teacher I've had so far. Great way to end a Super friendly, super interesting. He just kind of talks the whole time. Real life advice, absolute goat. All right, and I got for a Math 151, you got a Dr. Justin Cantu, animal. He makes math interesting. I love that man's class. Definitely just the, literally the biggest thing that you can do is like, don't just think that you can cram studying, like just be a very attentive in class and take good notes because when it comes to actually studying them towards the end of it, all you're doing is just like 
re-learning that information, looking over it, and you like, like Emmy said, just chunking away at it early. Uh, don't try to like be like, oh, I'll just wait till the final to figure it out. Definitely those first tests um, that have a lot of percentage, do really well on those or try really hard on those so that you don't stress at the end when usually you don't want to be stressed. So. Um, live at the library. Never leave. Never. Mm -hmm. How many weeks before should they like live at the library? Oh, I mean, you got to find a good spot like a week before. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Oh, okay. Very competitive. You oh, know? That waiting. girl's on the couch over there. She's probably been there for like a month. Oh. Stop the cap! <laughs> um, take like five gap years before you go to college, and don't go to college until you're maybe 30 and married and oh, have like four oh, kids. Oh. oh, is that how you are right now? Like, is that what you did? Mm, no, but I'm thinking about it. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Well, it's nice being appreciate you giving all that advice to the high schoolers. Okay, go. Okay, go. Hey. Hey. Yeah.